So I think Sheikh Yasir Qadi made my life very easy. He said a lot which I wanted to say because my topic is morality in Islam. And I'll be brief, but this is the time to give some policy statements from the president of ICNA about the stand, about the version ICNA has about morality. My brothers and sisters, listen to this very carefully. In last two weeks, ICNA partnered with a very well-known survey company, Harris Poll, and we conducted a survey in America. The survey was done in general American population. The recipients of the survey and the particip participants of the survey, only 1% of them were Muslims. So it was all American people who answered these questions. And listen what they have told us in their survey. America thinks, America thinks that morality is in decline in America. Number one. Number two, America thinks more than 74% of the people in the survey from across religions, people from different faiths, people for, with no faith, they all concluded that family values are declining in America. Number three, individualism is the root cause of destruction of families. And number four, very important, very important, gender identity has led the, the, the concepts of gender identity has created a situation which has weakened the family values. And the family values, in turn, are weakening because of the lack of religious beliefs. What does this all tell you? Isn't it what this convention is all about? Faith, family, and future. And success in divine guidance. And my brothers and sisters, who will dictate our morality? And I'm going to ask all these people who are sitting here, who is dictating your morality? That is the answer, but who is actually doing it? In many Muslim households, our morality, our family values, our wedding ceremonies, our graduation parties are dictated by Hollywood and Bollywood, right? When you go to a wedding ceremony, and this is coming from my heart, brothers and sisters, when you go to a wedding ceremony of a Muslim, is that wedding ceremony dictated by Allah subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala? وَنَا abuduni هَذَا سِرَاتُ mustaqim. He told us that the way I showed you has a sirat al mustaqim. But unfortunately, what we do, that we do not follow. And the reason is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Allah ya'lamu man khalaq, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who will not know who has created us. So let me finish with few important pointers here. Ikna is not afraid. Ikna is not afraid to tell the whole world that we stand for Islamic moral values. We reject, we absolutely reject the concepts which are created by people 
who wants to make things happen against the guideline of our religion. Ikna will, is not afraid to tell the people that we do not hate people on the basis of their beliefs. We are not for violence, but we are firm believers of Islam. We are firm believers of Prophet and we will not compromise on our religion. And we will not compromise on our moral values. My brothers and sisters, after that, inshallah, I will leave with this message that when we do this, we will get the heat. We will get the reaction, both from those who oppose these ideas. But let me tell you one more thing. All of you who are sitting here, there are many in Muslim community. There are many in Muslim community who sits on their videos, make YouTube videos, and designate people as Islamic or non-Islamic. Let me tell them, it takes a lot of effort to ask people to come to the of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It takes a lot of effort to bring a convention like this. It brings a lot of people to bring 10 shahadas in one day. It takes a lot of effort to have a why Islam spreading the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is, takes a lot of effort to have nine, Quran spread every nine minutes. It takes a lot of effort to go and work in 55 different countries. It is very easy to sit on a YouTube video and curse our scholars, blame Islamic organizations. We will not take it. We are foot workers of Islam. We are soldiers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we know in our heart what is there. And our heart is only tells us one thing, and that is we are servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And till our last breath, we will continue to do that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.